Murphy. Back in the lead in the Jockeys' Championship, but only by one over Joe Fanning. And just one more behind is William Buick. Three parts away, third. The pale colours on the rail of Rob Hornby aboard Timely Escape, closely followed by Whispering Roar, the blue sleeves, and a length and a half to Ala Kaifi. James Doyle on that horse is also third race course appearance, continuing in last position, and would be around four lengths off Kittens Bay. He brings them round to the top of the home turn and the final half mile in the opening race of the afternoon on Town Moor and Kittens Bay with the advantage but has been tracked throughout by Intergalactic Cat. Timely Escape just being squeezed along down towards the inner in third. Whispering Royal is now one from the left and Ala Kaifi will be switched out towards the middle to try and challenge as they begin to up the ante with two and a half furlongs to go and Kittens Bay is being pressed by Intergalactic Cat who's in the centre. Timely Escape on the right Ella Kaifi on the left, whispering roll between them as Kittens Bay drops away inside the two, but the other four in a line. Intergalactic had a slender lead, but Ala Kaifi finishing strongly down the middle of the course. Timely escape, then whispering royal, just over 150 yards to go. Intergalactic Cat leads by just three parts of a length. Ala Kaifi's trying to close him down as they run to the line. Intergalactic Cat all out from Ala Kaifi. I think he may have held on, though. Timely escape, Whispering Royal, clear of Kittens Bay. He's in there, ready. Choice. And off. Racing over six furlongs for the Doncaster Supporting Racing Staff Week handicap. Away very smartly, away to the right was Brazen Idol. Going forward with the yellow headgear is Foreseeable Future. And in the orange, This My Dream. And those two will take them along as Brazen Idol tucks in behind. Also joining in at the head of affairs, away to the left in the red and yellow is Crypto Quest, followed through by Barney's Bay. Then Beauty Choice, the green colours just in behind horses is Captain's Bar. Further back in the field at this stage is Jupiter Express. Kianos is away to the left with the grey cap being tracked by Dandy Spirit, Captain Valo and Asad Jumara and Golden Duke's white face just about in rear as they're already coming down towards the final two furlongs now and with the lead it's just this my dream but foreseeable future right there with Crypto Quest and towards the near side Okeanos trying to pick up his brazen idol away to the right on the left Captain Valo also finishing very strongly and it's Okeanos the one to catch inside the furlong Captain Valo on the stand side Far side, Golden Duke with a white face also picking up. And Brazen Idol battling on as well. Okeanos being collared by Golden Duke. Battling on his Brazen Idol from the back is Beauty Choice. But it's Golden Duke. Golden Duke, three parts of length. Okeanos, Beauty Choice running on. Close then with Brazen Idol, Dandy Spirit. And Race at three. They're off, racing without number two, Arabic legend. A uh, further announcement will follow. Big Bertie Bassett is the first to jump away for the Sky Sports Racing Sky 415 EBF Novice Stakes. Accompanied in the early strides by Dash Power in the blue and white. Stormy waves away to the left, the all-royal blue. Light blue on the right in just looking for a little bit of cavalry. Secret Beach tucking in behind runners next to the white-faced Novello Lad. Yellow with the blue cap of Almuta Marid, the half-brother to Derby winner Golden Horn. And he's racing towards the rear with Jesse William and Scarbados. His last of the eight that remain as they race down the centre of the course and on towards the midway point of their journey. Journey. And with the lead, it is Big Bertie Bassett and Liam Keneary by three parts of a length to Dash Power. Secret Beach, Stormy Waves away to the stand side. Novello Lad just behind them in the black and white. Almuta Married being shaken up. Further back, Scar Bados and Jesse William are the rear pair and they're approaching the final quarter mile. And Big Bertie Bassett is making the best of his way home. He leads by a length and a half to Secret Beach. Novello Lad, yes. Stormy Waves has not picked up yet and he's only fourth. Then Almuta Married as Big Bertie Bassett brings them down to the final 200 yards. Novello Lad is running on on the far side from Secret Beach, then Stormy Waves. Big Bertie Bassett still in front from Novello Lad and is in front by over two lengths. And Big Bertie Bassett, after a promising debut, has made all to get off the mark. Big run, Novello Lad. Penny drop late for Stormy Waves in third. Secret Beach and then Alishan sitting just to his all right. Back on the running rail in third, the striped jacket of campaign trail under Rob Hornby. He was second on his handicap debut at Salisbury last time out over a mile and a half, but he is related to the Gold Cup winner, Colour Vision. 
So there's plenty of potential for him to see out this trip. Double O Ban, who's racing in fourth, made all when winning a three runner novice race at Leicester 32 days ago. He's got red sleeves, he sits one off the rail, three parts in front of Royal D side on his handicap debut at the back of the field. They're swinging round the far corner of the track now and heading back in the general direction of the home straight and about to go through the halfway point in this AGM Safety Limited handicap. And Pledge of Allegiance has opened up at the front of the field here. He's now about two and a half clear. Two in second, Trojan Spirit, with Campaign Trail not moving off the inside rail, with three parts to Double Oban, who's just covering him. And Royal D side still waiting at the rear of the field, around six lengths off the leader, Pledge of Allegiance, who brings them to the top of the home straight. And the final four furlongs and Pledge of Allegiance is clear by three lengths at the moment. Two in second position now, Campaign Trail, moving through on the right of Trojan Spirit, who's being urged for a bit more by Murphy. On the left, the light blue and red of Double O Ban being stoked up, then Royal D side as they come down Not. inside the three and Pledge of Allegiance continues to show in front. The lead is two lengths as Campaign Trail is going off in pursuit. Double O Ban, Royal D side, Trojan Spirit has dropped away and Pledge of Allegiance is the one to catch here. Campaign Trail is trying to hunt him down in second. Royal D side, Double O Ban, battling out the minor run as they're racing towards the final furlong. Pledge of Allegiance still there. Campaign Trail is very slowly whittling away at Pledge of Allegiance who's galloping on. Campaign Trail's trying hard, but it's not enough. Pledge of Allegiance follows up the red car win. Made all from Campaign Trail, Tight third, Royal D side, double O ban, and Trojan Spirit tailed off last of five. Half rearing as the stalls open, they're off. Half race. Casio did just miss it half a beat them for the first of two races on the round mile. It's the It's Racing Staff Week handicap. And Jack Daniel is the first to begin going forward from a wide draw, Tipperary Moon, as they link up with the round course proper. They're followed through by Tiger Beetle early on, then Bird of Play. He's also looking for a handy position ahead of Absolute Dream. Tracking them down on the inside is Royal Prospecting Company at this stage. Uh, with Dougie's Dream, Olympicus and Cassie O is the one who's at the rear of the field. They're coming round to the top turn and by half a length Tipperary Moon leads Jack Daniel. Tiger Beetle, the red and black stripes in third. Green Colours fourth on the rail is Bird of Play followed by Absolute Dream and then Dougie's Dream. Royal Prospect with a noseband next to the pink cap of Leaden Hall. Olympicus second last and Cassie O last of all as they just bunch up now on the approach to the final three furlongs and Jack Daniel on the right just being shaken along by Zach Wheatley as Tiger Beetle, Dougie's Dream Bird of Play Between Horses Absolute Dream all lining up Cassio one from the left, Tipperary Moon's dropped away, Leadenhall trying to find a way through then Royal Prospect they're coming down to the final furlong and a half and it's Bird of Play being pressed by Dougie's Dream, Leadenhall now gets a gap between runners followed by Tiger Beetle, Cassio running on from the rear it's just Dougie's Dream in front here Bird of Play the far side and and Leadenhall between the pair. Dougie's Dream, a narrow lead from Bird of Play. Leadenhall tried to lunge late. Dougie's Dream, Dougie's Dream. Just got the better of Bird of Play. Then Leadenhall and they were clear. Olympicus running on from the back ahead of Cassie O. Off they go for the celebration race. ratings workforce Phillies handicap. And they broke in a fairly good line with Available Angel going forward. Allade also looking for a handy position and the grey Paco's pride will drop down in behind the front pair to race third early on. They're followed through by Gypsy Whisper who's racing to the outside of Time Waits for Nobody who's next to Stranger on the Shore and Lady Wormsley. Red Maid's behind those and two lengths down is Hostelry at the rear of the nine fillies and mares who are swinging back to the final five furlongs. And it's Available Angel and Mark Wynn skipping along by two lengths to a lead in second position. Paco's Pride the Grey on the rail in third. Blue headgear, a neck away in fourth is Gypsy Whisper. The mauve colours away to the left is Lady Wormsley, racing in company with time waits for nobody. Red and yellow of Stranger on the shore. Red Maids is away to the right towards the rear in the purple, yellow and white colours and on the left with the noseband hostelry is closing in as well. They're wide across the course coming down towards the final two. 
and it will be available Angel and Allayed and Gypsy Whisper and Hostelry and Lady Wormsley as well. These five from Paco's Pride, one from the right, Red Maids behind them, time waits for nobody, drops away, Stranger on the Shore is picking up as well, they're coming down towards the final furlong and Stranger on the Shore has taken over, Hostelry towards the stand side, Lady Wormsley then just between them, these three press on from Paco's Pride, Stranger on the Shore, Lady Wormsley in the centre putting in a determined effort, Hostelry keeping on on the stand side but Lady Wormsley in the centre, saw off Stranger on the Shore, the far side, Hostelry on the near side and those three were clear of back in fourth position, Paco. They're off. Racing for the hashtag, we are racing handicap without 13, Chattel Village, who was unruly in the stalls. Head above the rest was a bit slowly into stride and is the back marker early on with par fire in rear as well. At the head of affairs, are we nearly there? Dad broke alertly from Shine's Ambition. Bryce in the blue colours, Trabajo de Teco. Away to the right in the black and yellow is Ortar, followed by Slingsby. Two is followed by Lubset Flossy Pop. Just in behind them is Higher Law. Par far in the light green, away to the right. Away to the left, we've got Shine's Ambition tracking. Are we nearly there? Dad, mind that ship in the blue and white stripes. Then Crime Fiction, the grey. A little bit further back in the field at this stage with plenty on towards the stand side as they come through to the final two is head above the the rest and also Tiger Trap. The lead in the centre is just about with Slingsby too, but Par Fire has quickened very well on the far side and gone into the lead. Keeping on is Trabajo de Teco. Then are we nearly there, Dad? Bryce and Higher Law behind them. Par Fire a narrow lead with half a furlong to run. Trabajo de Teco. And are we nearly there, Dad? Rallying on the near side. Trabajo de Teco joined on the line by are we nearly there, Dad? Par Fire kept battling in third on the far side. Sklingsby 2 and Higher Law and Bryce and they were clear.